morning. So I've come over to Fire Pits UK today to um, do a little bit of cooking because I'm going to be taking a couple of these lovely fire pits back to Bristol to, um, to fire school and I know they're going to be super popular. Grilled ratatouille, really, really easy. I mean, it's just kind of grilled Mediterranean veg, basically, with a beautiful black olive tapenade on top. So, um, because veg cook at different rates, you know, these aubergines, they've been grilling a bit um, and they're lovely and charred, but actually I don't want them to get too, um, I don't want them to, you know, they have to soften all the way through, essentially, because I don't think there's much worse than a kind of uh, chewy aubergines. Aubergines are not meant to be al dente, are they? So I've grilled them hot and fast, over this beautiful wooden charcoal fire and then I'm going to take them further away from the heat on these swinging arms like this. Uh, it's lovely and hot here. What a day, eh? What a day! What a thing in the Mediterranean. So courgettes, aubergines, these really wonderful kind of Romano peppers. Again, they're pretty much done actually, so I'll slide those a little bit away from the heat. And that one, which is just taking them, you know, closer and further as they're done. And in all of these cases, you know, some veg take longer to cook than others, it's just the way it is. Oh, those tomatoes are looking amazing. We'll move those over. Right, so that is most of that veg. Oh, I've lost one. Can I rescue that? Yeah, I can definitely rescue that. Doesn't need to go to the fire gods. That one needs a tiny bit longer. And that one, amazing. So that arm now, I'm gonna swing it over that direct heat and just uh, quickly rake the embers right underneath this uh, this grill and then onto that have a look at these do, do, do. can you see these these are uh, lemon and courgette and salmon kebabs delicious so i'm just going to pop those hot and hard Woo, hot yeah they won't take too long really hot fire trick to fish is hot and fast hot and fast remember that and then while they're doing and that's finishing black olive tapenade. So you could do this in a little blender. I've got a pestle and water today, so it'll be a little bit coarser. Uh, I'm going to do it down here. I don't know if you can see all that way back. It's very atmospheric, isn't it, with the, um, with the smoke? And then black olives. So garlic, anchovies, black olives, all in. It's going to be quite a coarse, chunky um, tapenade, this one. You could obviously do it in a blender and it would be a little bit uh, more pureed. A bit of red wine vinegar. Just going to bash that together. Right. Turns out, let me come around here. Turns out making tapenade in a pestle and mortar is harder work than you think. So I had to stop this video for a few minutes. And it's still pretty chunky, but it's going to taste amazing. Mmm. So I'm going to bring you round here, hopefully without dropping you in the fire. So what we've got are these really amazing kebabs. I think you can see those, they look amazing. And then everything else is ready. So I'm just literally going to pile it on a plate. So, plate, amazing vegetables. All cooking at ever so slightly different temperatures, so that, you know, just get them on before or take them off as they're cooked um, or move them around you know closer and further to the fire that's the um that's the way to do it it's just basically like the med on a plate tomatoes or tomatoes my children would kill me for saying that <laughs> oh yeah this is absolutely my kind of eating and you know, if you wanted to get ahead with this, you could just get everything chopped and ready and like coated in a little olive oil and then into the fridge so it won't, um, you know, it won't dry out. And then 
and then you're kind of good to grill, you know, when you feel like it. I'm going to bring you over here now. Da, da, da. It's like working in a new, new garden. Everything's always a little bit more chaotic. So that tapenade's beautiful. Beautiful over the top. So good. Dropping it everywhere. World's clumsiest cook. I reckon you know that by now. That. Oh, finish it. Masses of basil. And just the very last thing. Stretching. Oh. <laughs> Over here. Uh, I need an assistant. I need a filming assistant. Um, a lot of really good extra virgin olive oil. Let me show you that one. Grilled uh, ratatouille. Then get those little kebabs off. So I'm going to swing you back round. Am I? No, I'm not. This tripod is dying on me. Oh my god, the whole thing is <laughs> literally falling apart. Right, so get these beautiful kebabs off here. The easiest recipe in the world looks delicious oh damn it salmon don't go to the fire gods there we go right i'm having i'm having to finish this movie handheld because my <laughs> we had a gust of wind and my tripod blew over and the leg snapped off so professional right anyway look here's the kebabs off the grill with a uh, beautiful just really simple greek yogurt and a load of herbs gonna go so well with that ratatouille all cooked on this fire pit, which I love. I'm so excited about taking this home to fire school. And these arms, actually, you can totally remove them. They lift off the way and out of the way, which is a fantastic thing, because then you, uh, you know, you pull up a chair, pile it up with logs, get some wine going, and uh, you've got yourself a nice little heater.